Hey busy bees, it's Zung and we're back for day eight of our 30 days of healthy eating and living series. Thank you so much for following along. I've been loving seeing all of your creations on Instagram and I'll be doing a roundup today of everything you guys have tagged me in. So I'm so excited to share those photos. So today I thought I would share some lunch ideas for the week. So many of you guys have been asking for healthier lunch ideas that aren't sandwiches and and you love bento so I've put all those together in one video and we're gonna be doing three wraps in a bento box style be sure to hit that subscribe button below if you are interested in following the next 22 days holy crap we're already so far along and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more bento or healthy lunch ideas we'll go ahead and start with our first lunch wrap idea which is inspired by a bean and cheese burrito so when I was pregnant, all I wanted to eat was a bean and cheese burrito, and I can't tell you how difficult it was to find like a healthy one. I ended up going to Whole Foods, and they put like quinoa in there, um, which was interesting, but today I thought I would give it a little bit of a Korean twist to it. Here I have some fat-free refried pinto beans from Trader Joe's, and I'm just gonna spread it all over my tortilla. Then I'll layer it with some pulgogi meat, if you guys want the recipe for the pulgogi, I have a video that I'll link in the description box below. Some tomatoes. Make sure to de-seed your tomatoes because the seeds are gonna make your wrap soggy. Then I'll layer it with some Monterey Jack and cheddar cheese. I'll layer a little bit of shredded cabbage, some cilantro, and green onions. And it's time to wrap it up. First, I'll fold in the sides. And then from the bottom, I'll just press it down and holding the filling, you'll just roll it up. And that's our wrap. You get the protein from the beef and the beans and then there's a little bit of veggies but we're gonna fill the rest of our bento up with some good stuff. But first we're gonna cut the wrap so it fits in the bento. Look how delicious it looks. It's like a healthier burrito. So I actually wanted to get whole wheat tortillas, but they didn't have any at the store. Um, everything sold out, you guys. I couldn't find tomatoes. I had to go to two different stores, but everywhere sold out of whole wheat tortillas, so I had to get flour. But if you wanted to go the extra mile, you can get spinach tortillas or whole wheat tortillas. Really, it's up to you. Now, in my bento box, I'll stuff in the wraps. Put in the divider, add some carrot sticks, celery sticks, and a few strawberries. And here's our bean and cheese pulgogi bento box. Ah, I'd be happy with this if I got it for lunch. It's a nice and balanced meal. You have your meat, your cheese, your beans, vegetables, fruit, looks good. So let's move on to our next one, which is a plant-based one that I know you guys are gonna love. So for our next one, I would say it's the healthiest one out of all the wraps. It's plant-based and I'm using hummus as our base. I'll take the hummus, spread it all over the tortilla, and then the hummus on top will act as our glue to keep the wrap together. Next, I'll add some sauteed kale. I like sauteing up my kale because it has more flavor, but if you want to leave it raw, you totally can do that too. Next, a little bit of black beans sprinkled in. Spread it out. And then to keep us full, I have some sweet potatoes that I've already roasted and I'm gonna layer them on top. This is our meat. I also like to break them up by kind of mashing them down. That way they're easier to roll after. And finally, a sprinkle of cilantro. And that's it. If you guys wanted to, you can definitely add some avocado slices or feta cheese to really kind of amp it up a little bit, but I thought I'd keep this one light. Again, tuck in the sides, and from the bottom, I'll just roll up. Slice it in half. 
And that's our veggie wrap. I love the layers. The sweet potatoes really pop here and the kale and the beans. I actually really love how the beans split open because you never really see that with black beans. You only see like whole little beans. I'm so tempted to eat this right now, but let's assemble our bento box. We'll lay our wrap down in our bento box, add the divider, and then I'm gonna make this one colorful. I have some red bell peppers, snow peas, and mandarin oranges. With bento boxes, you have to make it look like a work of art, so feel free to move things around. And that's our veggie wrap. I try to make it look artful, but it looks kind of like a Picasso. All right, let's move on to our last one, which is a Thai-inspired wrap. For this one, we're gonna start by making our peanut sauce. The peanut sauce here, I found a fun shortcut that I wanted to share with you. It's not the most authentic, but it tastes awesome. In a little bowl, I'll add some peanut butter, just about two tablespoons here. Then one tablespoon of soy sauce, half a teaspoon of grated ginger, and then for my shortcut, here I have some sweet Thai chili sauce, which adds a little bit of sweetness, tanginess, and spiciness all at the same time. I have a tablespoon here, just dump it in, and then some extra water to thin out the sauce if we need it. Mix, mix, mix. I want the sauce pretty runny and dippable, so I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of water in. This looks great. We're gonna start with this and spread a thin layer on our tortilla. Now I'll layer on all my veggies. We have some shredded cabbage, shredded carrots, sliced bell peppers, and some sliced cucumbers. For the cucumber, make sure that you deseed it because the seeds will cause our wrap to be soggy. Now that our veggies are laid out, I'm gonna add our protein. I have just some roasted chicken here, but you can certainly add tofu or any kind of protein that you like. I like breaking up the chicken pieces so it's easier to wrap. And finally, we have some green onions and cilantro. And just wrap it up. There's a lot going on in this wrap, so with your fingers, try to keep everything in the tortilla. Look at all the beautiful colors in here. Mmm. You guys know what's next? Let's assemble our bento. We'll add our Thai chicken wrap to the bento box, put in the divider, and then since our wrap was filled with so many veggies, I'm gonna add a fruit for our side. I have some Fuji apples. You guys saw the grocery haul that I had a whole palette of them pretty much, so I'm using it up here. Plus, I feel like apples pair so well with the peanut butter sauce. And a handful of blueberries. And that's our Thai chicken wrap bento. So to recap, we have our bean and cheese pulgogi wrap, our veggie wrap with kale, sweet potatoes, black beans, and we have our chicken Thai wrap. Everything is completed with some fruits and veggies for a super balanced meal. I hope you guys enjoyed the bento wraps because I really loved making them. It's a really fun way to be creative with your food. These are perfect for meal planning. I know I just made one serving today, but you could totally make a bunch of these depending on which one you like best and use them for the rest of the week. Tell me which one you would try first and which one really calls out your name. Comment below and you guys, tomorrow I'm gonna be making a low carb Vietnamese inspired weeknight meal. So be sure to follow along by hitting that subscribe button below and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.